Alrighty, boys. Time for another day at school. Ah. Oh, the teacher just said good morning, class. Good morning, sir. I'm gonna ask, uh, what are we learning today? He said, Welp, we're not really learning. Wait, what? <laughs> we're not learning? <laughs> and this kid said, Woo! Bro, we're in school. We're supposed to learn. And even my friend Ken just said, What? He said, I'm gonna tell you about a competition. A competition? Um, okay. And this kid said, Ooh, you have my attention now. <laughs> Bro, what kind of competition is our teacher talking about? I'm confused. He said it's about inventing something that will help the world. Interesting. Wait, bro, what, what is he talking about, though? He said, do we choose what to create, or will you assign us something to create? Yeah, wh wh what are you talking about? He said it needs to be something big and actually helpful. He said, do you choose what to create? I'm gonna say, so we're having a competition where we invent something? And this kid said, ah, this will be painful. <laughs> oh, and the teacher just said, yup. Whoa! I get to invent something? And Ken just asked, what are the rules? Yeah, it's a good question. He said, no inventing something that has already been made. All right, obviously that'd be cheating, so that makes sense. I'm gonna say, are we allowed to work together? He said, and no working together. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say, can we work with other people? Like maybe someone who can build the thing for us? He said, yeah, obviously. Okay, okay. He said, no one in the class though. I'm gonna say, all right, sounds good. This kid just said, when do we get to start? And he said, you don't have to come to school this week, by the way. And this kid said, so may I leave now? <laughs> he said, you have one week to build it starting from today. He said, I want you to focus on the invention. He said, good luck to all of you. I'll see you next Tuesday. And all right, I guess we're out of here then. Sounds good, sir. And yeah, Ken just said, all right, bye, Mr. Jack. Yeah, all right, I guess we're out of here now. Bro, what in the world? I'm not gonna lie, this sounds pretty fun. I'm gonna say, uh, Ken, what's your idea for the invention? I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what to create. He said, hmm, I'll probably invent something that moves fast. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to say, want to come back to my house and brainstorm some ideas? And he said, uh, sure. All right, bet. I guess we'll go back. Oh my gosh, boys, I'm hyped. I need to invent something good, like something cool, something that can change the world, I guess. Hmm, let's think, let's think. Let me look around. What could I invent? Uh, a hospital? No, I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, whatever, we'll think about it later. Alrighty, and I am home. I'm going to say, all right, let's think. He said, hmm, maybe I can invent uh, a couch. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, that already exists. Um, what could I invent? I mean, computers already exist. <laughs> he said, bruh. Refrigerators already exist. Sinks already exist. Pools already exist. What could we possibly use? Beds already exist. I mean, what's something that exists but could be better? Hmm. Ken, what are you thinking? He said, I'm thinking of something that moves fast or a tool. A tool? Wait a minute. Mm, I'm not gonna lie. I have an idea. Boys, look at the sky, right? Obviously, the sky is big and large and it's empty. Only thing in the sky are clouds. Now, obviously, the helicopter already exists, but the helicopter is slow. I want to invent a super speed jet. That would be so sick. I'm gonna say that's something that moves fast. He said, true. I'm gonna say no stealing my idea, though. <laughs> And he said, fine, I'll make a fast tractor. Bro, what? <laughs> a fast tractor? All right, no offense, but that sounds kind of stupid. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just tell him. I'm gonna say, bro, that sounds kind of dumb. He said, finish the job fast and good. You know what? You do you then. I'm gonna say my super speed jet will be able to get people from one side of Brookhaven to the other faster than anything that currently exists. He said, my tractor will harvest crops in two seconds. Nothing better than finishing your job fast. <laughs> Um, alrighty. I'm gonna say, well, I guess I'm gonna get started. You should too. And he said, same. Alrighty. Well, uh, good luck out there, Ken. <laughs> he said, you too. All right, boys. I'm hyped. I'm finally gonna invent something. All right, look. If I wanna build this jet, it's gonna be hard to do it on my own. I need to find someone smart. Someone who works on some kind of mechanical stuff already. Okay, let me write down a list of things I need to do. All right, so first, I need to find someone smart who can build this thing. Next, I'm gonna need materials for the thing. So I'm gonna need need metal, rubber, and probably some glass. Then I need to find somewhere to build it. Then I need a blueprint. And finally, step five, complete the jet. All right, perfect. It's late now, but first thing in the morning, I'm gonna write a little blueprint, then follow the plan.
All right, not gonna lie to you, I've been working all night. As you can see, the sun's starting to rise, but I've been working because I couldn't fall asleep, and I have a blueprint. You guys are gonna love this. All right, so look, as you can see, this right here is my blueprint of the jet. Now, don't mind the rockets. I'm not sure if I'll actually use those. But right here, you can see we have two wheels, a big one in the back, a smaller one in the front, the wings, of course, the jet engine in the back, some small tail wings in the back, and the cockpit right towards the front. Now, boys, this looks pretty much perfect to me, so it is time to start the plan. Let's do this. All right, well, step four is already done. <laughs> Did that a bit earlier than I needed to, but I need to go find someone now who can build this thing for me. I'm gonna grab my car now, and let's go ahead and head out to find someone. All right, and where do I look? Who would be capable of building a jet? It's kind of hard to just imagine that. Oh, maybe someone at the airport knows what they're doing? I mean, obviously, that kind of makes sense. And wait a minute, there's a guy right there. I see him. Is he outside or inside? Oh, he's inside. Interesting. Who is this guy? He could be an airplane mechanic for that airplane right there but let's see well, let me go talk to him i want to say hello sir and yeah look at this guy he looks like a construction man he said hey how can i help you i'm gonna say if you don't mind me asking what are you doing here he said just chilling for now waiting to work i'm on lunch break oh uh and what exactly do you do for work plane mechanic oh interesting i'm gonna say well how about you join me to build the world's fastest plane i call it the super speed jet. And he just said, lol. Bro, what the heck? I'm gonna say, hey, why are you laughing? He said, what kind of dream is that? Uh, it's my dream. He said, how can a kid like you make that? I'm smart, dude. What the heck? Why is he calling me stupid? He said, even our engineer can never make that. I'm gonna say, well, I don't care who your engineer is, but he ain't me. I said, if I have a goal, I will get it done. And he said, are you even an architecture? Uh, an arca what now? I'm gonna say, look, do you wanna help me build this thing or not? Uh, uh, let me show you the blueprints as well, actually. He said, you got blueprints? <laughs> yep, they're right here. He said, hmm, told you. I'm serious, man. He said, impressive, not gonna lie. It looks like it can be made. I take back what I said. I'm in. <laughs> Thank you. You will not regret this. Um, he said, what's the first step? Uh, well, you were the first step, <laughs> but uh, let me check what's next. All right, boys. Step one, find a person who can help. Done. Step two, get the materials. Okay, not gonna lie. I probably should find a place to build it before I get the materials. That way you can kind of get started setting it up and prepping. I'm gonna say, well, next, we need to go to the building zone, aka probably an empty field. He said, hmm, all right, let's go. All right, we're headed out right now to somewhere empty. I need somewhere flat. I need somewhere long. All Obviously, I can't just build this jet in the middle of the city, so I need to find somewhere good. Oh, and he just said, so why are you building this, kid? Uh, well, it's a school project, <laughs> but I want to do it. All right, let me check this spot right here. It's pretty flat and pretty open. I'm not gonna lie, this could probably work. I'm gonna say, what do you think? This a good spot? I mean, plenty of room. He said, hmm, big enough. All right, perfect. Let me get it set up. He said, all right, I'll help. All right, I've got it all set up, as you can see. Plenty of lights everywhere, an area to camp out and chill to your lunch breaks and the main blueprint which will be right there sir how's it looking because it looks decent enough i'll start working perfect uh what's your name by the way not gonna lie i never learned it and he said smith oh um all right nice to meet you smith all right that means number one in the list is done number three in the list is done but i skipped steps two i need to get the materials that's basically all we're missing all right boys i get to work now all right well i'm gonna go get some materials uh i'll be back he said all right i'll be waiting Hardy boys it is time oh my my goodness, let's see if I can actually get this done. All right, I need metal, rubber, and glass. All right, now where in the world am I gonna get this stuff, guys? All right, let me think, let me think. Metal could definitely be harvested in the mountain over here. I'm not really sure how I'll get that, but I could probably get it from there. Let's see, any metal areas? Not down there, I'm gonna go up the mountain now and see if there's something. Hmm, I'm not really seeing much. Man, where do I go? All right, look, what am I even thinking right now? Dude, I'm not gonna find enough metal on the side of a mountain to build a jet. I'm gonna have to just order this somehow. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to the military about this. They're the only people who can get me these resources. I already know it. Alrighty, and I'm here. Oh, gosh. I'm nervous. And, bro, nobody's here. Uh, let me ring the doorbell, I guess. Oh, and I pressed the button. I'm calling someone. You hear that? I'm gonna say hello. Anyone here? And, oh, what the heck? Who's this guy? He said, who are you? I'm gonna say, oh, haha. Uh -huh. He said, what do you want? I said, I'm Tap. I need materials for a jet, and I didn't know where to go. He just said, what? I said, you heard me. I need to place an order. Metal, glass, and rubber. He just said, 
we're making our own jets. Oh, well, <laughs> mine's gonna be better. He said, right, kid, keep dreaming. No, seriously, I need those materials. Can you get them for me or not? And he said, no one can make stuff better than us. And he said, I mean, sure. He said, it's gonna cost you though. Uh, no worries. <laughs> I could probably afford it. He said, all right. Uh, okay. I said, I need to deliver to that mountain over there. Get it to me ASAP, please. Uh, and that one is the one I'm looking at. He just said, all right, kid. Wait, how long? He said, a few hours. Might be there by tonight. Oh, gosh. All right. Uh, sounds good, I guess. All right. Well, that actually kind of worked. I guess that's good. I mean, now I have the materials in the way, but I don't know how long it'll take, and I don't know when they'll get there, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'm heading back now, and let me see if Smith is still here. And oh, yeah, he is. I'm going to say, Smith, I got good news. He said, sup, kid. I said, the material should be delivered tonight. He said, ooh, perfect. And I said, which means we'll get started then. I'm going to say, we only have five more days to complete this, by the way. He said, I already made my plan to build setup. All right, that's good. And oh, there's a sunset. And he said, that's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, boys. Hopefully this works. He said, it'll be done by the fourth day. I'm going to say, that's what I like to hear. Oh my gosh, not going to lie, boys. This could go really good or really bad. But look, I have faith. I know that me and Smith will get it done. And hey, yo, what the heck? The truck's here. Smith, come. He just said, ooh. Oh my goodness, bro. This truck is huge. That's a lot of materials in there. He said, here's the stuff. Where's the money? Oh, uh, the money? Uh, uh, about that. Uh, let me just pay you once I'm finished. He said, also, you guys unload it. Unload it? I'm gonna say, you know how much stuff is in there? And he said, yup. I said, we can't unload it. It's only two of us. Uh, just leave the truck here. And you can pick it up in five days. And he said, all right. And oh, Smith just said four days. <laughs> all right. I like the confidence, Smith. Thank you. Uh, all right. Not gonna lie. I'm not sure how that worked. I thought he would be like, heck no, and yell at me. But hey, I'm not complaining. Well, Smith, let's get started. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. This is gonna be a lot of work. Oh, and Smith just said, let me move it really fast. Oh, I guess he's gonna move it. All right. Oh, he wants to back it up so it's right in the build zone. That's smart. Smith's a smart guy, guys. Uh, he can't drive very well, but <laughs> he'll get this done. I believe in him. All right, I guess that's better. Open it up. And whoa, that's a lot of stuff in there. He says, let's unload everything. Oh, gosh. Uh, all right. All right, well, it's finally all unloaded, um, mainly. Oh, but Smith just said, all done. Oh, my goodness. It looks pretty good. I'm liking this. I'm going to say, perfect. Let's get to work then, shall we? <laughs> and oh, my goodness, bro. That's a lot of boxes. He said, yep. And look at this guy. He has a hammer out. I said, I'm going to pick up some food for us. He said, all right, I'll be working. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. All righty, boys. Well, we finally have the construction site mainly down. I'm liking this, boys. I feel like an actual inventor. I'm inventing something, literally. We're going to make the world's fastest jet. It's going to be so sick. Bro, right, let me go ahead and grab some groceries for him really fast. I know he's going to be hungry, so I'll just grab some uh, junk food, honestly. We can't really cook out there, so uh, pizza. Perfect. Definitely a bunch of waters, some Gatorade, some of the energy, and some chocolate. This is a reward. Okay, perfect. Checked out, and I am out of here. Gosh, so I am so hyped, boys. It's going to be lit. I'm telling you. I'm so hyped, though, boys. I wonder if there's any progress yet. Probably not, to be honest. It's a bit soon. But all right, here we are. And what the heck? Uh, is it done? Bro, uh, you finished? He just said, oh, hey. Bro, oh my goodness. It looks insane. He said, uh, kinda. It's been like a few minutes. Bro, it hasn't been long at all. He said, the engine's not placed inside of it. Oh, okay. So it's not completely done, but the body's done. And wow, this looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's just the right size too. And it's barely not hitting the, the, the light post. That's crazy. He said, the engine will be finished in one hour. I'm gonna say, okay, then after the engine, something else too, right? No way you gotta finish this fast. This is insane. He said, test drive, then done. Bro, oh my goodness. I'm gonna say, well, sounds good. Uh, and he said, I'll get back to work now. Uh, all right. He just said, all right, it's done. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And also guys, by the way, the guy came back and took his truck since we got all the materials out of it. He said, go test drive it. I'm gonna say, just like that? Uh, it's a two-seater though, correct? That was the blueprint. He said, uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'll drive and you sit behind me, okay? And he said, uh, sure. Oh my goodness, boys, I'm in it. I can't believe this is real right now. And whoa, 
Look at the fire coming out. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, I, gotta I jumped out on accident, but all right. He said, ha ha, T-Y, man. All right, well, I'm lifting off now. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh my goodness, bro, this is insane. He just said, oh, it works. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna say, why is it not going? He said, control the speed on the left. Oh yeah, right here, obviously. Max speed is 200. I'm gonna say max speed it is. Here we go, boys. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 200. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so fast. Woo. Bro, this is lit. I'm gonna say this is definitely the fastest jet to exist. Boys, I am having way too much fun with this right now. Is it so? Do you like it? I love it. Alrighty, well, I guess now we wait for the day when the invention is due. Alrighty, boys, well, I'm back in school. The whole list is checked off. My invention's done. And it's time to present. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, everyone. I love how I'm the one saying good morning. I'm so hyped. He said, hey, class. And yo, Ken, you took my seat. Move it. He says, everything set up? And this kid said, yes, it is. Wait, what the heck? Why is he in a wheelchair? I'm gonna say, did you invent a wheelchair? I came with my invention ready. Bro, what the heck? He said, this will help elderly people to move faster. <laughs> he said, by using their brain. Wait, what? He said, watch this. My hands are off. Okay, his hands are off, I guess. Boom! <laughs> Bro, what in the world? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say, good job, man. I'm proud of you. And the teacher said, that's, uh, good. And he said, thank you, Tap. All right, uh, Ken, how about you go next? I'll go last. Oh, also, guys, probably wondering where the jet is right now. It's at the construction zone, so uh, I'll pick it up after. And he said, go outside. All right, let's go, I guess. And hey, where did he go? The teacher just said, this better be worth it. Yeah, wait, what the heck? Where is Ken? Uh, I'm confused. He said, I have a bad feeling, LOL. And yo, what the heck? What is that? He said, mm-hmm, bad feeling. Crop harvester 9,000? Uh, I'm going to say, have you tested it out? I didn't know Ken was a farmer. And the teacher just said, what the heck is this? He said, yes. I'm going to say, so what exactly does it do again? It collected crops in three seconds. Oh, uh, interesting. And this kid said, Ken's brain in a nutshell. This is so stupid. <laughs> Bro, he's the one in a wheelchair. And no, I think Ken just flipped it over. Uh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? I'm going to say, all right, mine last. The best for last. He said, show us. I'm going to say, stay outside. I need to go pick it up. Winky face. And this kid said, well, now I have a good feeling. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, boys. I'm so hyped. It's going to be so lit. Okay, I am almost here. Come on. And there it is, my beauty. The super speed jet. I'm going to say, bro, it's time. Come with me. Look at him eating a sandwich. He said, all right, let's do this, boys. Oh, I'm so hyped to fly it. I love flying this thing. Oh. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go into max speed as well. Let me get it in the air. And there we go. Max speed, baby. Woo! Oh, I love this thing. I'm just speeding over Brookhaven. And alrighty, here we go. Whoa, slow down. Alrighty, and land this bad boy. And Ken just said, what the heck? I'm going to say, introducing the super speed jet. And they said, what the heck is that? You stole it from the military? I'm going to say, no, the military is trying to steal it from me. Well, probably not. But anyways, he said, huh? I'm going to say, this is the world's fastest plane. It can cross Brookhaven faster than anything in existence. He said, you're 18 and you created that? How did you build this? I'm going to say, well, I had a blueprint. Then I got parts. Then I got a construction site. Uh, then I got Smith. <laughs> and he uh, smithed it together, I guess. Uh, say hi. <laughs> he said, good job, man. <laughs> and he said, hi. Well, and the kid said, this is amazing. I need help with my invention next. Bro, don't try to steal him from me. And he just said, A plus for Tappy. Hey, let's go. Alrighty, boys. Well, if you enjoyed the video of me becoming an inventor, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.